focus on me. F -f focus on me. Ugh. Hi. Hey. Hello. Ow. I'm Stacy. If you didn't know, I just had like 15 minutes of a scuffle with my camera because I was just having focus issues. So I had to use Santa Claus to help me focus. I'm not lying. Santa Claus. Why he's still out and not in his box and put away. Beats me. Thank you, Santa Claus, for helping me out. I've got a question today that uh, is actually a very interesting one. You know, I don't even explain, just listen. It says, you're not in love with me, you're in love with the idea of me. What does this mean to you, and how do you know which one you're feeling? Of course, all of us in life are gonna go through something like this, at least I believe so. I don't know if there's an exact formula that will distinguish both. The first part, you're in love with the idea of me. Obviously, to everybody, it's gonna mean something different. It, to me, simply put, I'm not gonna go super in depth with this, but I feel like you're in love with the idea of that person Maybe it's that you have these expectations You have this perfect person in your mind and you want this person or you're constantly trying to fit that person or change That person fit into that mold Maybe it's that that person loves the idea of having them around all the time and creating this love or having this idea of love With that person even though maybe that person doesn't fit into the ideas that that person has that makes sense I feel like I'm not really getting to it. I can't really concentrate. Maybe you two don't fit together perfectly or maybe there are flaws that you don't like about the person that you're trying to change that person or vice versa and you're trying to change it in order to make it fit make it work maybe it means that you're in love with that idea of being with that person of being in love with that person of that person being the perfect fit for your idea of what love could be or what love would be like maybe you don't really feel that in love feeling with that person I think it really just boils down to your perception of them and the reality so it's perception versus reality. In a nutshell, I would say, when it comes to you being in love with the idea of them going out on dates with them, doing this, doing that, having a relationship with them, but then when you hit reality, you're just like, yeah, it probably wouldn't really work at all, or it doesn't work at all. I think that's simply put, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I explained it right. Perception of a person, versus reality of that person. So whatever you've made up in your mind, you're loving that and you're loving the idea of that. But in reality, it's like, hey, it ain't close to that. And then you ask the second part of the question, which is how do you know which one you're feeling? And again, it's gonna be different for everybody because everybody feels things differently. Everybody has different emotions and blah, 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 blah. The easiest one to tell is if they're not meeting the expectations that you put up. Now it's really hard to not put expectations on somebody. And I think we all do it. We all have expectations for your significant other or for a friendship or for a relative or whatever as a family member and when they don't meet it we feel some kind of like weird feeling like maybe it's disappointment maybe it's sadness maybe it's anger maybe it's whatever it is that you're feeling it happens okay we're humans it happens a red flag that could go up is if they're constantly not meeting your expectations and you sit back and you're just like wait a minute I feel like I had all these expectations of this person and yet none of them are coming true. Let's say that you love romance, you love going on romantic dates and doing this and doing that and your significant other is more of I just like to stay home and I'm not romantic at all. Then you kind of like sit back and you're just like wait a minute. In my mind I played it out as though we're gonna go on romantic dates and he or she is gonna take me here, we're gonna do this. It could be that where you're kind of just like, whoa, okay, expectations versus reality. I mean, everybody falls in love differently. I kind of want to say when you're in love and you have an expectation and they don't meet it, you love it regardless. You just love them for them. I don't know, I could be wrong. I feel like I'm not hitting it on the mark, but you just know when you're in love. You just know when you're in love with that person versus the idea of that person. You just feel, everything just feels so right when you're in love. I hope that I helped. I know it was very like everywhere, but I hope that I was able to help at least un poquito. Thank you so much for asking this question. If anybody else has anything else to say, please, please, please make sure you comment it down below because I know that everybody, a lot of people go through this. You never know who you could be helping and who may be in need. So thank you so much. Please don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye. And look at, I did my nails. I love the colors that I picked out and I wanted to share them with you because I got to pick them out.